How's it going, everybody? Hudlumut back with some more Steins Gate. And uh, last time, we got uh, uh, Jello Pick Death Threats. Well, not not quite, but it's, it's on its way to Death Threats anyway. We got a We're Watching You. Uh, we changed time dramatically, or at least allowed it to happen, so that 10 years of history just doesn't exist anymore. Uh, we... Well, I'll say Okabe did things that he shouldn't have, uh, because he's too dense to realize that the, the past actually changed, uh, and now Lukako is, in fact, a girl now, and, uh, Suzaha is trying to find her dad, and I'm pretty darn sure she's from the future or something, so, anyway, uh, with that information, let's head right in to this next episode. I shall now brief you on Operation Eldrimnir. The only lab mems here today are Meyuri, Kuritsu, and Lukako. I couldn't get a hold of Faris or Moika. They must be busy. Daru, meanwhile, gave me some crap about having things to do. I was prepared for Lukako to refuse my invitation, but since she's here, I guess she's forgiven me. For now, at least. Yeah, that was, uh, a little... <laughs> anyway. Let's see, what do we got? We got some mail. We got... Oh, oh, oh I got two mail. Wait a minute. Okay, part-time warrior. Eureka, going to infiltrate now. What should I do? I'm so nervous. I can't s see my own heart, like, peeking through frosted glass. Wish me luck. Over now. Heck yeah. All right. So, she's gonna find her daddy. Gonna find her daddy. And then we got Farce. Uh, 29Q. A cat's paws are made of warmth and joy. Sorry, I couldn't come today. Yeah. Right, yeah, because she's a lab mem now too, so. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that. Even though I just read it, it just still just, I'm trying to process everybody who's now become a part of this, so. Okay. I want you guys to get ready for a party. I've already explained to the lab mems what Suzaha told me yesterday. What are you going to do? Me? I'm going to follow that part-time warrior and report back as the situation changes. Don't you dare. Let her be alone with her father. <laughs> You shouldn't be so quick to reject my plans, Christina. You don't understand the intricacies of the human psyche. Now that you've rejected my plan, there's no way I'm going through with it. You have underestimated my pride. <laughs> Great. So literally did exactly what she said. Get over yourself. Besides, Christina, you and she are enemies, are you not? You protect her from me while plotting her demise? That makes you a hypocrite. <laughs> you just don't have standards, that's all. She's right. I don't think you should bother her, Okarin. Even during the strategy meeting, Mayuri keeps working on her costume. Lukako hasn't agreed to wear it yet, but Mayuri's enthusiasm remains strong. No matter what happens, we need to give her a warm welcome. I'll do anything to help make this party super special. Um, actually, I haven't met this Suzuha-san. Suzuha-san's really nice! I'm sure you'll get along with her, too. Nice. Anyway, I'm going to Taylor now. You guys... Oh, wait, no, he's he is still going. Okay, I thought he said he wasn't going to. <laughs> wait, what? No! Get it through your thick skull! Dang it, assistant! How dare you give me orders! <laughs> and he still goes anyway. Oh, uh, man, it just, Okabe's so dumb, 
and yet sometimes is just really smart and observant and just he, he's such a freaking whirlwind you know I, i'm so i go back and forth on him all the time i just i don't know man he's crazy I, I don't know what to do with him hopefully he'll get a little bit better as we go here right now he's in that like i can do anything stage until things really start going south because you know they will in the end i can't get permission to tell suzaha oh he can't okay never mind Never mind, I guess. <laughs> she came with him. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. Don't even think about running off somewhere. Kiritsu is forcing me to help her with some... <laughs> with the shopping. There's no way out. Oh no. There are already a couple and they don't even know it. <laughs> Dang it. Kuritsu really is turning in into a class president character. At this rate, she might take over the lab. Wait, could this be what Suzaha was warning me about? Nah. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely nah. Definitely nah. Anyway, time to get my head in the game. We must prepare for the Last Supper. Operation Eldrimnir. The Last Supper refers to our party for Suzaha. In the event she reunites with her father, we'll just celebrate normally. In other words, it will be her Last Supper in Tokyo. However, if she doesn't reunite with her father, will kidnap her and force her to participate in our experiments. Sacrifices must be made if we're going to perfect D-mail technology. In that case, it will be the last supper on this world line. <laughs> Holy crap. The lab's budget, most of which comes out of my pocket, is tight. But it's okay to party every once in a while. There's no such thing as low risk, high return. High risk, high return. That is how a mad scientist operates. <laughs> I can already taste Suzaha's despair. Huh? Over there. Isn't that... Oh, what the heck? I follow Kuritsu's finger to see Daru emerge from Yorobashi com camera. <laughs> Found you, Daru! Huh? Uh. I grab his collar to stop him from escaping. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he lie? Because he said he was somewhere else, right? Why didn't you respond to my summons? Like I said... I've got something to do. Which is... Oh, he never told us, okay. An offline meeting. Inexcusable. Wait, just listen a sec. Your offline meet, or a party with food handmade by our very own lab girls. Choose one. Handmade... by girls? He knows exactly what to do. <laughs> One question. Will Faristan be there? Before Kiritsu can answer that, I whisper to Daru. Naturally. Faris is a lab mem too. <laughs> Dang it! Why do they have to be on the same day? Can it wait until tomorrow? What will it be? The time to choose is now. I want to eat Forest Han's home cooking. <laughs> if you give up the offline meat, then that settles it. I give up. I give up the offline meat! <laughs> Daru surrenders all too quickly. <laughs> Alright, great. Glad we got that figured out, I guess.
<laughs> but what was he going to is the thing. He was just coming out of a, out of a, a electronics place. Was that was that not what that was? I forget. Yeah, because it was camera. So uh, Yodabashi camera. What was he trying to do with cameras? I don't even want to think about that actually. If I'm being honest. <laughs> when we return to the lab, Mayuri and Lukako are already starting preparations. Huh? Daru-kun's here too? What about Faristan? Where is she? You've been tricked. Faris-chan said she couldn't come. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Oh, Karin! What's going on here? This isn't funny, man! Don't worry. I'll make sure she comes to the next one. You've gotta be kidding me! I was looking forward to that time machine meet. Wait, what? Time machine meet? What's that? It's an offline meet for this sci-fi BBS I post on. Some famous writers are going to be there. I won't forgive you, Okurin. Ever. <laughs> what? Why didn't you say so? I would have gone too! Suddenly, I smell something strange. Does anyone else smell that? Smell what? Did we blow a few somewhere? <laughs> Uh-oh. So sorry Lukako's apologizing for something. That's probably the smell of Mayeri's cooking. <laughs> no! No! Don't say that! No! Is she a bad cook, dude? What? This is the smell of food? I'll help too. Okay, then warm these egg eggs, please. Hmm, should I use the phone wave? Oh my gosh. N no! Uh, if you put raw eggs in a microwave, they'll explode. We took the door off. It should be fine, right? Chop, chop, choppity, chop, 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 choppity. Mayuri chan, don't hold your knife like that. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> Daru and I exchange glances. Maybe we should help too? Or at least kick them out of the kitchen. Won't it end up the same either way? I'm getting dizzy. This isn't the future I was hoping for. You're telling me. I'll never forget this, Okarin. Never. I'm sorry, truly. But please, Daru, stay with me to the end. I'll order pizza as an insurance. <laughs> It only gets worse. The smoke grows thicker by the second, filling my lungs with ash and tar. <laughs> getting that secondhand smoke. Don't say that. Don't say that you're getting secondhand smoking from Mayuri's cooking. Don't. No, my heart can't take it. In less than an hour, the girls have transformed the lab into a class 5 disaster zone. I take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. Looks like the evil one is free. If you haven't heard from me in an hour, tell my parents I love them. Okarin, that's a death flag. Is this the choice of Steinsgate? El Sai Kongru. <laughs> After the storm has passed, Whoa. 
She's late. The sun has already set. The food, lined up on the table, none of it looking particularly appetizing, has already grown cold. I open my phone to check the time. It's getting late. The high school girls will need to head back soon. Was Suzaha able to meet her father? If so, they might have a lot to talk about. Oh. 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 Huh? Oh my gosh! No! Sorry, goodbye? <laughs> oh, what? oh no! <laughs> There's only one word for Suzaha's email. Does that mean she didn't meet her father? And now she plans to leave town alone? Hawawun Kyoma will never accept that. She will be my guinea pig whether she likes it or not. I fly out of the lab. Oh no. She's going, she's going back in time. I guarantee it. Or like to the future, wherever she came from. Probably the future. I don't know where Suzaha is. All I can do for now is go to the station. If she's going to leave town, she should be using public transportation. If she's using the Hibia line on the other side of the station, then I've struck out. But if she's going to take the bullet train from Tokyo or... U... 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 Ueno? Is that how you would say that? Ueno? U... Ueno? I think that's how you would say it. But then she'll have to pass through here. I carefully scan the thinning crowd around Akaba Station. Where is she? Oh, crap. After about 30 minutes of watching the crowd, I spot something. <laughs> My gaze focuses on a person walking in from the main street. Ah! It's Suzaha, shuffling along with her head bowed. As she gets closer, I can see that she's wiping her eyes. Aw. Is she crying? I don't see anyone walking with her. I guess she couldn't find her father after all. You there! Part-time warrior! Suzaha looks up in surprise. I see the tracks of tears on her face. Yo, can we just... Hold on for a sec. Do you hear that bump and track in the background, though? Uh, 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 uh. What is that? Let's go. <laughs> anyway. Just as our eyes are about to meet, Suzaha looks away. And then she turns and runs out of the station. Oh, that's why it was bumping. Oh, we're in a chase. Wait! I give chase, ignoring the stares of passers-by. She's gone. Dang it! Where did she... Hold on a second. Why am I chasing her? Do I have some kind of urge to chase things that run away? That's stupid. I'm not a dog. Shouldn't I just leave her be? It's not like we're that close, right? You guys just had a bicycle moment, dude! That's like... That's like Anime Couple 101, dude! Even though, I mean, like, I don't know... But, like... You had a moment! Freaking... That's, that's like... That's like a... That's an anime trope, my guy! She rode on the back while you were pedaling, dude? Come on! What do you mean you weren't that close? That don't happen! She let you... The fact that she let you ride her bike, which she, like... Freaking polished all the time. That should tell you something. Come on. What the heck? You're a nice guy. You know that? I think talking to you really did help. No. 
but Suzuha is all alone in this town. What if I was the only one she could talk to about her father? I know she's hurting. She needs my help. Shouldn't I do everything in my power? Yeah, yeah, go find her. No! Ugh. Just now, I think I saw someone who looked like Suza. But the run from the station has left me exhausted. I drop to my knees, gasping for breath. My sides ache. I can't take another step. Even after searching the entire area around the station, I couldn't find Suzaha. I guess this, too, is the choice of Steinsgate. As I rest, I look up at the night sky. The satellite remains buried in Radicon's walls. I wipe the sweat off my brow and head back to the lab. Aw, dude. She went back in time, I'm telling you right now. Oh, Karin, did you find Suza-san? Everyone's still there when I return. It's late. Go home, everyone. But... Tell us what happened. Yeah, keep us in the loop, man. Suzuha ran away from me. I guess she couldn't find her father. Oh. A gloomy silence falls. I can see the sadness on everyone's face. <laughs> I begin to laugh. <laughs> oh, oh, Kabe-san? What's wrong? Are you okay? His brain is probably oxygen-starved from too much running. Okarin, chill. <laughs> Look at you all. Why the long faces, friends? Have you forgotten? We have just the thing for moments like these. I thrust my finger at the curtain to, de to the development room. You're going to send a D-mail? But the discharge phenomenon won't occur this late, will it? Then we'll send it tomorrow. D-mails leap through time. It matters not when we send it, but when it is received. Who are you sending it to? To myself this afternoon. The message. I smile triumphantly. Don't listen to Christina. Pursue Suzaha. If I do that, there's no way I can fail. And then, we can have Suzaha as a test subject. Oh crap. I suddenly hear the sound of rain. I look outside the window and see that rain has started to fall. That's never a good sign, my guy. That is never, ever a good sign. <laughs> if rain is falling, that's telling you something bad or dreary is about ready to happen, my guy. This is... I don't, I don't know about all this. We're gonna we're, it's, we're gonna get the whole... And all the numbers again, dude. And I'm gonna... It's gonna scare me again. I, I don't... He's just so flippant, man. He just uses time to just do... This one at least isn't... It doesn't feel like that big of a change, so it doesn't, like, you know... It hit me the same, but still. It's like, he's just doing it. He's just like, we can just do whatever. Ha! I... Anyway. As Daru predicted, the discharge phenomenon does not occur. It looks like we'll have to wait until tomorrow. The rain grows stronger over time, eventually becoming a thunderstorm. The next day, there isn't a cloud in the sky. Excuse me? <laughs> What's all this? Hello? It's hard to believe it rained all night. Oh shoot, oh, receiving mail. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh... Daru... Check the news, Okarin. 
that satellite up and disappeared. Oh no, lol. LOL. What? What? Wait, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? Wait, was that there because of Suzaha? Oh, I just realized she came to work at the Brawn Tube Workshop after that happened. Because that was right in the beginning. <gasps> what the frick? Oh no, what? Mayuri disappeared. They say that satellite disappeared. I wonder what happened. Did it fly away? It's like a magic trick. Well, good night. What the frick? Oh no. Oh no. Oh crap. I keep checking the Brawn Tube workshop through uh, the window, but the morning passes without any sign of Suzaha. She's probably long gone from Akaba by now. <laughs> She doesn't know who she's dealing with. She is but a pawn in my game, destined to fight for me at Ragnarok. At the stroke of noon, I activate the phone wave named Subject to Change. The destination is my phone, yesterday around 4pm. The discharge phenomenon occurs as normal. Don't listen to Chris... Pursue Suzaha. The floor shakes violently. Squinting against the glare, I send the mail. Huh? I knew it! I freaking knew it! Dang it! What is that gonna do? My brain shakes violently. My vision flickers. As the vertigo passes, I can hear my heartbeat and feel the warm blood coursing through my body. I blink slowly. That was the sensation of reading Steiner activating. And so I know. Suzuha is ours. I hurried down the stairs. I step outside and look to the front of the building. What belongs there has returned. A mountain bike polished to a shining finish. But we don't know what the conversation they had when he stopped her was. We don't know what that was. We don't know what happened. Oh no. And on the bench next to it, looking up into the summer sky, is... Amane Suzuha. Good morning, part-time warrior. I try to remain calm as I call out to her. Sup? She greets me in her usual listless fashion. Slacking off? It's not like anyone's gonna come. And besides, I was up all night partying. I'm really tired. So she did come to the party, okay. You were partying? With who? Were you drinking, Okabe Rintado? Big no-no. You're only 18. We have shifted from a world line where we failed to stop Suzaha from leaving to one where we succeeded. As a result, the events of yesterday changed. You couldn't find your father. So, we held the Last Supper to make you a test subject, correct? <laughs> yeah, I remember you saying something like that. Wait, did we actually do something to her? He said to make you a test subject, did we do something that we don't know about now? Did we change the world line like five times and, and now we, I, I, we, we don't know? Please tell me that that was just like an initiation and we haven't done anything yet. Oh, crap. This is like starting to pile on like a domino effect. Thanks for all your help yesterday. My memory's a bit fuzzy. <laughs> uh, remind me again how we captured you? Wait, were you really drinking last night? Just tell me. Well, I was on my way home from the time machine meet when... 
Whoa, wait a second. Time machine meat? Yep. That's the same offline meat that Daru was going to. He's going to want to go back and then try to go to that with Daru, how much you want to bet, and then he can see Suzuha in the same, uh, at the same time. Was that where your father was supposed to appear? I said so yesterday, didn't I? So you were going home, and then... You, Hashira Itaru, and Shina Meyeri appeared out of nowhere. You brought me to the lab, and we partied all night long. So my pursuit of Suzaha was a resounding success. I can't help but smile at how smoothly things went. Suzaha, meanwhile, looks back up at the clear blue sky. Yesterday sure was fun. Her tone is sincere. It would have been more fun if not for Makase Kiritsu. The apple pie she made was deadly. <laughs> but Urashibara Luka's curry was awesome. Your lab seems kind of like, um, like a clubhouse? It's nice. Everyone gets along, and you're always smiling. I've never had so much fun in all my life. Aww. Hmm. It sounds like Suzaha had a pretty dark childhood. Yeah, because she's probably from the future that you screwed up! And she's coming back to talk to her dad or something. How much you want to bet? I bet, I freaking, I bet he created this, like, communist society, right? The, the one that, uh, oh, because John Titter talked about that, didn't he? He talked about in, uh, 20, what was it, 36, where he's from or something like that? That, that, uh, it's, like, everything has been taken over by, like, one, uh, like, a one world government or something like that? Or, or something. Anyway, it's like, I thought he said it was, like, extremely communist, so it's like, there's just, like, a lot of oppression, right? On the people. How much you wanna bet? Yo! Oh, no! This is getting crazy. Maybe she was bullied in school. Could that be related to her father's disappearance? Part-time warrior. As promised, you are now my test subject. But I already told you, I don't know his email address. Then we'll have to postpone the experiment until you find out. By the way, the phone wave name subject to change used in the experiment is our lab's greatest secret. You must become a lab mem to guarantee your silence. Lab mem? Short for a laboratory member. When you become a lab mem, you become one of us. Can I really join? You don't have a choice in the matter. From this day forth, you are Lab Mem 008. Alright, there's the eighth one. Oh boy. Suzaha lowers her head, no doubt awed by my proclamation. I hear what sounds like a sniffle. Then she looks up, revealing a smile. I guess I don't have a choice, huh? I'm all yours. Aw, dude! You're not going to leave? Nope. Maybe there's still a chance to find my dad. You are a lab mem now. If there's anything we can do, you need only ask. By the way, do you have any leads? Suzaha hesitates a little. Then she stands up and turns to me. Her expression is grave. My father calls himself Titter. <gasps> what? Whoa! It makes sense! My theory is correct! It's correct! Her, her dad is John Titter, or at least someone 
who's calling himself John Titter, the person we've been seeing on that channel who came from the bad uh, uh, future that I was talking about. That's why she had a bad childhood. I'm so freaking smart, dude. Tell me my brain's so big. Tell me how many wrinkles it has. Put it in the comments right now. Better freaking, I better freaking see tons of comments with how many, every, one comment equals one wrinkle of my brain. I better see it in there. Watch me be right. Wait. Titter? As in that titter? You know about him? He might be using a different code name though. I don't just know about him. He's been active on at channel for the past several weeks. I open the at channel thread on my phone and show it to Suzuha. Look! There's someone posting named John Titter. Suzuha stares at the screen. That means we have an email. Because it's if it's him, then that means we have the email that she can send to. Oh crap, okay. It's all coming together. But dang, I'm freaking right. This solves the puzzle. Your father is on at channel. Huh. You're right. Hey, shouldn't you be more surprised? Well, it's not him. Oh, crap. Come on! Is he a wannabe or is he the real titter? Son of a gun. How do you know? You just said your father calls himself titter. I can tell. This titter isn't my dad. That's a strange way to put it. It's almost like she knows who's behind John Titter. As if to answer my suspicions, Suzaha continues. His name's not John. The name my father used was... Beryl Titter. <laughs> 